Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. I have a brand new video for you guys today. We're doing a full face of Juvia's place makeup. That's such a weird sentence to say. I've never done a video with the brand before. I've actually used uh, some palettes of theirs before and I've actually felt the products and stuff from other friends who've had it. I just never picked it up myself, but it's about then time. But if you guys want to see what I picked up from the brand and what I think about it, make sure to keep on watching. So first, before we go into anything, of course, we always have to prime. So I'm going to prime my face with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And then I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And then we'll be right back and we'll jump right in. Okay, so I have primed and prepped my eyelids and my skin. So first up, we have the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place and this is the eyeshadow palette we're going to be going into. The one I've used before is the original Nubian so that's why I went for the second one. I did want to pick up the Wahala palette I believe it's called but it sold out so <laughs> we went with the Nubian too. But yeah let's pop this open and this is the color story right here. So first up, I'm gonna take my Scott Barnes number 62 brush and we're gonna go in. And I'm just gonna first dip into Morocco, the first shade, and I'm gonna start putting that on my lid. <laughs> the palette just has no mirror, that's the only downside. But let's see how pigmented this is. Holy shit, <laughs> that shit is pigmented. It's looking nice. You could definitely build a color really easy. It's really, it's pressed pretty hard when you first dip in, but then it gets a lot softer. I mean, I do like how that's looking, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know how I feel about it, but it does look nice. So now I'm just gonna bluff, bluff. <laughs> now I'm just gonna buff out this Morocco color to exactly where I want it. There's not really any, um, not any but not much blending and buffing shades as the palettes are pretty small but not small but they come with big pans of each color so there's not room really for it but that's not big of a deal we just have to buff and blend now now i'm gonna go in with my finger and i'm gonna go in with the shade ya and i'm gonna put that on the inner part of my eye okay so now i've got the pigment on my eye right there so I'm just gonna leave it like that for right now and I'm gonna finish the other eye off camera and then we'll come back all right guys so I finished the other eye off camera and this is how they came out I really like it. it's like that burnt orange look and honestly it's pretty nice for summer too so now we're gonna go into the face products so first up I picked up the I am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation from Juvia's Place and I picked up the shade Savannah. The foundation is so teeny, <laughs> but I heard a little goes a long way. That's what everyone's been saying. So we're gonna try this guy out. Wait, let me get it back. See, it's, there we go, it's focused now. <laughs> so honestly, I'm just gonna go in with the Beauty Blender because I think it's a thick formula, but let's take off the little seal so we know that no one's ever used it before. I have the littlest amount
Okay, so this thing is really full coverage, but I feel like it's, is that a hair? <laughs> I feel like there's a hair on my face. I feel like it's like patchy. Like if you see over here, like more over here, you see that stripe where it's like gone. And as well as over here, and it's on like the sides of my face as well. So I'm gonna see if I could cover that and then we'll see how it looks. I still feel like I'm like white there what the frick it's weird okay so I finished blending out the foundation I had just that patchy spot which was a little weird but it looks really good now a uh, little does go a long way <laughs> I was told the truth but I do really like it I just hope next time I can avoid the patchiness maybe going in with the brush or something I just thought it was a little thick for a brush and it dries really quick so you have to move really quick all right, next we're gonna go in with the I Am Magic Concealer. This is Juvia Place's concealer. This has a lot of good ratings, like everyone loves this stuff. It's fat, the component, it's real fat. There's a lot of product. So we're gonna go in. I got the shade 18. So I'm just gonna put this on my under eyes. <laughs> okay so <laughs> this concealer is good uh but i do think the shade i got is way too light <laughs> way too light i look like <laughs> a ghost <laughs> and this formula like does not dry down at all i'm actually gonna go in with the anastasia beverly hills setting powder and i'm gonna set the under eyes i don't usually do this but the formula is like really really dewy what the frick is going on <laughs> these formulas are not agreeing together <laughs> i'm gonna take that off so i don't know how i felt about the concealer formula but before i go back into it i actually got the shade sticks multi-purpose foundation sticks from juvia's place and i got the shade manila which is like a highlighting shade for me so i'm gonna try and go in with that and see how that film formula works out the formula is really creamy Also too light for me. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna act like it's my color. <laughs> Next shade stick I got is in the shade Brasilia. I believe, yeah, I believe this is just my color. So this is just another foundation that I could try also. I might throw that in another video. And then I also got Addis Abba and this one's for contour. And this one looks like this. It's a darker shade. So I'm just going to use this to contour. And that one was just as creamy as well. Okay, that contour shade was immaculate. That one was perfect. Even blended out perfect. <laughs> I look like a ghost. I look crazy. <laughs> There's so many boxes in front of me right now. All right, so I'm gonna set my face 
and hope that that helps with this situation. I'm gonna go in with the kimchi stage proof matte setting spray. <laughs> I really tried to go with what they recommended on the website for the concealer, but uh, this is not it. <laughs> it's ruining it. It's okay though. Jesus Christ, I look insane. Ooh. I look highlighted to an alternate power. The, the contour looks amazing though. Am I wrong? I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush and I'm just gonna tap that on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna do some quick bronzing with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Tan Bronzer. Okay, hitting the end game. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least from Juvia's Place, I picked up two loose highlighters, the Royalty 1 and the Royalty 2. I think we're gonna go in with the royalty one because we have these vibes going on on my eye. So this is what the royalty two looks like. Bam, comes in this little powder container. And this is what the royalty one looks like. Ooh, and it comes in another similar container and it's a little bit open. I'm gonna go in with the royalty two. Usually I would highlight with a Scott Barnes brush, however, due to the size of the brush and the fact that I can't really use this because it's in a little compact, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 501, which is a great brush to highlight with, and I'm going to dip into a little bit of the loose highlighter uh, highlight powder. Oh my god. I said a little bit. What the fuck is that? I don't hate how the highlighter looks. I just hate how it went on. Like, I wish I could finesse it better to put it on a better way, but it does look really nice. It does look blinding. I don't hate it. <laughs> I like pretty much everything in this brand. Before we leave, let's pop on a lip gloss. So I'm just gonna finish off the look with the Fenty Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. And lastly, we're just gonna step back into the Nubian 2 palette and I'm gonna dip into Zuri and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. And last but not least, I'm gonna dip into the shade Egypt and I'm gonna put that on my under eye. And there's my pop of color for you guys. <laughs> I think that green really brought it together. It made me really look like Egyptian. <laughs> I mean, I like how the look came out. I just don't like some of the formulas. Let's have a breakdown. First up, this palette is really good. It's really pigmented. It has some of these colors you might look at and you might think I can't work with these colors. They're too deep. You're gonna be a lot more scared, but it's a really nice palette. Like the colors are really nice, they're really easy to work with, and they're really pigmented. Next, the foundation, really, really, really like high coverage, but it does dry really quickly and it is a little patchy, so you have to like blend it really good. The concealer was a little too dewy for me. I mean, I didn't set it with spray, but I mean, I'll give it another shot, but the coverage was definitely there. Then the this shit I low-key think sucked more than the concealer. They were like the same freaking shade and they were just too damn light for me. Like I look like <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> and the I didn't try the foundation stick yet, but I imagine it's gonna be really good. But the contour stick was really, really good. The highlighters were nice, but like I said, they were like um I'm not the biggest fan of loose. It's a little difficult to work with. Maybe if they were like pressed i mean i could press them myself high key 
but I might even do that because they're really nice the shades especially and I would have a lot of product left over too but that's pretty much it for the whole brand this is a completed look I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys check out Think of the podcast my podcast there's a brand new episode every single week the link will be in the description down below and Think of the merch is launching in two days we will be launching at Friday June 12th at 12 a.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you guys go to thekethemerch.com and sign up for 20% off on your first purchase so you guys can purchase whatever you like. And also make sure that you guys go to our Instagram because we're going to be giving away $50 gift cards to our followers. So make sure you guys tune in to get a chance to win one of those. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.